Thanks for joining us on There to Hear Travels. In this video, we're talking about our Tracy Arm Fjord excursion, filled with wildlife, waterfalls, and glaciers. This excursion can be booked through your cruise line or in Juneau, Alaska. Since we booked through the cruise line, the excursion boat pulled right up to our ship when we were in Tracy Arm Fjord and we got off just like a tender boat. The entire adventure was about seven hours, so when we were done, we were dropped off right back at our ship while it was parked in the port of Juneau. We originally had a different excursion picked out for Juneau, but because we heard repeatedly that this is the most amazing excursion you can possibly take in Alaska, we had to switch our excursion to the Tracy Arm Fjord. Since you don't arrive back into Juneau, until the afternoon, you miss out on some of the earlier excursions. But we did not miss out on anything. This was absolutely worth it. Now, some of the footage was a little too windy, like when I said, here we are, Tracy Arm Fjord excursion. But that's okay because I'm sure you've noticed that so much of this footage has spoken for itself. Tracy Arm Fjord actually had way too much ice in it for us to travel that one. So we went to the Sawyer Glacier in Endicott Fjord instead. Here we are, we're at Sawyer Glacier, right in the Endicott Fjord, right? Yep. Is that right? It's right. It is beautiful. We haven't seen any calving, unfortunately, but it's just, it's gorgeous. Although it rained most of the day, it did not put a damper on things. This waterfall gushing right next to... <laughs> During our cruise, we even had a stop in Glacier Bay, but nothing competes with getting up close and personal with the glacier. It's an experience unlike anything else. We just got our Glacierita. Drinking the glacier. It's a margarita made with ice. They pulled right out of the water. Glacier ice in our margarita. The freshest Yay. ice in the world. <laughs> Don't worry, they pull out two chunks of ice. One for touching and one for drinking. The Glacieritas were delicious and we were so excited that we can actually say we drank from a glacier. That is good. And if you don't want an alcoholic one, you can always get it, the glacier ice in any of their drinks. But this is good. We recommend it eight bucks. Get yourself your own and drink it with the glacier right behind you. Cheers. So next up is wildlife. We saw tons of sea lions hanging out on this rock and we had seen at least two bears. We also saw a couple of eagles. I got a really cool shot of an eagle hanging out on a iceberg. But my absolute favorite part was the orcas. We were so lucky. It does not normally happen, but we were surrounded by orcas. Before I tell you about them, I wanted to take a second and ask you to hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give us a comment. Let us know, have you ever done this excursion? What was your favorite part? Now, the most we saw surfaced at any given time was around five, but the captain said we were surrounded by about 30 orcas. Keep in mind, I was taking photos with my Nikon while also recording this video with my iPhone while also just living in the moment. It was an amazing experience and I was just trying to be present myself. So I didn't always pay attention to where the camera was pointed. So forgive me for anything shaky. This was a pretty unique experience, even for the crew on board, so we stayed parked here for about five minutes or so, and even cropped down, there's about two minutes and 20 seconds worth of orca footage here. So if you're not into orcas, you might wanna just fast forward to the five minute mark of this video and just see the really cool part. Personally, I'm pretty obsessed with it, so I decided to keep in as much footage as I possibly could, and I hope you enjoy it just as much as I do. Wow.
were tons of amazing moments throughout the Alaskan cruise, but the orcas was hands down my favorite. I would have loved to have stayed there a little longer, but we had to hurry up and get back to the ship. Everything's got to be done on time. So on our way back, we saw a second bear. This was the first one, and then the second one we saw eating on the side of this mountain here. Seeing a bear in the wild was bucket list item for me, so I was thrilled to see the first one in the first 40 minutes and then see the second one on our way back. was really great about any time wildlife was spotted he makes sure to slow down and come to nearly a complete stop so we can check it out and everyone could take turns getting pictures waterfall they pull up to and do a turn just like they do at the glaciers and we saw so many waterfalls along the way icebergs and wildlife for $250 per person this hands down is the best excursion we could have picked and worth every penny I hope you enjoyed watching please click like subscribe and hit the notification bell thanks for joining us